Well, Valentine's Day is just a few days away, and today we're talking tutorials on bouquets and how to create a beautiful bouquet for that special someone in your life. And we have expert advice now from Lori Bolash of uh, Olivia's Bloom Box. She's here to show off some of their floral arrangements for the upcoming holiday just a few days away. Lori, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. And you, you, do, you have some beautiful bouquets there. We have all seen bouquets, whether we've given them, we've received them. What's the secret to creating a beautiful bouquet? You know, actually, the, the secret is there's really no secret. You just have to have fun with it. You want to make sure that you have a lot of vocal flowers, which are your bigger flowers. And I have, uh, you know, a lot of the roses, obviously, they're kind of the signature flower for this Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. But outside of that, there's beautiful flowers. There's a lot of vertical flowers and there's just fun and uh, like we call them dancers. They're uh, just fun and more gestural type of flowers. You put these all together, there's no way you can go wrong. You'll make a beautiful bouquet. All right, now uh, tell me a little bit about uh, Olive's uh, Bloom Box. How long have you guys uh, been around? Well, we've just celebrated our fifth birthday as a brick and mortar uh, here in Ferndale on Livernois between eight and nine miles. All right. and. Valentine's Day is just a couple of days away. I know there's a pandemic. How has business been uh, for you guys? Are you guys seeing a real pickup in uh, business? You know, honestly, love has not been canceled this year. So we have been seeing definitely an increase. I think people want to get out there. They want to show everybody how much they appreciate all their help this year and um, everything that's gotten them through the last 10 months. So yeah. we've really been quite busy. Uh, with a lot of call-in orders, deliveries, everything. Oh, that is fantastic news, not just for you, uh, but for Metro Detroiters taking care of each other and showing each other that they love, support, and appreciate them. That is wonderful to hear. Uh, are you finding, uh, and I don't know if people are always telling you this, that you're seeing more of that um, sort of platonic giving this year instead of just the romantic giving? Because we often think about Valentine's Day as a romantic holiday, but this year we need to take care of people uh, who were not romantically involved with, you know, friends, family, loved ones. Yeah, absolutely. You're correct. Uh, we're seeing that we're getting a lot of calls in just for people that want to give to their next door neighbor or just a friend that's helped them. Anybody, a teacher or somebody that's done something, a healthcare worker, anything they can just to give them a little something to brighten their day. All right. And a final question before we go, you guys have the flowers there, obviously, but you do you have other gift ideas or gift uh, possibilities if people stop in to uh, get some flowers from olives? Uh, absolutely. We have a lot of different things. We're doing contemporary arrangements, which are something like this. We have cookies. We have different build your own flowers and a flower bar. There's all sorts of things and we have an entire gift shop that you can browse around. We'd All love right. to see you come on in. Lori, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, that's right. It is Olive's Bloom Box. They're in Ferndale. You should definitely check them out. And uh, Kevin, if you go there, you can get a little burst of spring from some of those flowers because outside there is no spring to be found. Yep.